Hey y'all, welcome to Bee's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm here to do a message for the sign of cancer for January 2023. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy. So we're just going to hop in and see what spirit has for the sign of cancer for January 2023. All right, Cancer. Let's see what's going on for you in, in January. Spirit, allow me to be the channel. What's the message for Cancer? So the card that came out was Tower, Unplug and Relax for a Spell. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have Protest, Start a Revolution. So what I'm getting from this uh, card here is um, I feel as though, Cancer, in January 2023, there will be some type of Tower moment. Um, and whatever this tower moment is, I feel as though um, you've been going and going and going a lot, you know, um, this year, 2022. And I feel as though you haven't stopped, you know, to relax, to, you know, recharge, uh, you know, just to, you know, do some self-care. But I feel as though um, there is a tower moment coming. And it could be because, you know, you have, you, you have been, you know, in hermit mode and, you know, just trying to keep, you know, your life together. As far as you know your work if you have children you know and maybe there is just some some thing or someone you know that is attached to your energy that is trying to uh, cause some type of distractions but I feel as though if this is someone you know that's in your energy that's trying to cause a tower moment for you I feel as though um, it's going to backfire on this person Yeah, if this is, you know, someone that's in your energy that's trying to cause, you know, a tower moment for you, I feel as though they're gossiping. And I feel as though they're gossiping because you are, uh, you know, basically minding your own business, doing your own thing. Um, but I feel as though, Cancer, in January 2023, there is someone, yeah, that, uh, you know, is connected to your energy that is going to try to bring a tower moment to your life. And so, you know, you need to make sure that you continue to, you know, cleanse your chakras, you know, do your protection things, whatever you do, whether it be like your candles, you know, with your crystals, you know, your, your spiritual baths, whatever it is that you need to do to, you know, protect and cleanse your energy. That's what you need to do. Because I do feel as though, you know, going, I mean, in January 2023, there is someone that is possibly going to try to come, you know, not even come, but just uh, try to cause, you know, some distractions in your life to basically cause your whole world to come crashing down. So yeah, I just heard um, <clears throat> you might need to go in your sacred place, wherever that is, um, you know, and do your little special prayer. Uh, I don't know who that's for, um, but Spirit just said they need to go in their sacred place and place and do their little sacred prayer. So whoever you are, that's that was for you. 
And I feel as though, um, you know, if you do go in your sacred place, do your little prayer, I feel as though um, things are going to be revealed to you. But you are protected in this situation, Cancer. Let's put that up there. Spirit Wise Tower here. Tree. Yeah. Because people see that you're... Uh, you know, spiritually growing, mentally growing, physically growing. Um, yeah. Whoever this is that, uh, you know, is trying to, it's going to try to cause a tower moment in, you know, for you in January. Um, they could be an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Virgo. But, I mean, but you're, you know, you're stable. You you have your, your tree planted on solid ground. You know, and um, your tree is bearing fruit. And I feel as though whoever this is, they're just jealous. Um, yeah. Because you've made some type of change in your life. And I feel as though it's, you know, for the good, the better. And because you did that, um, you are spiritually growing. You are, you know, mentally growing. Um you know, physically growing as in, you know, your skin could be getting clear or, you know, you're losing weight or you're gaining weight or, you know, um, just, just, you know, things to, you know, make your physical life better. And of course, you know, you're growing financially as well. What else, Spirit? Yeah. Cross. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel as though um, you you did decide to make a change in your life um, to possibly, you know, get on your spiritual journey and, you know, change your toxic ways. And when you did that, yes, you started to grow rapidly, you know, in many ways in your life. And I feel as though, one, it's because, you know, there were a lot of things that, you know, you had to endure in your life. The cross is here. Um you had to go through a lot, you know, to get to, you know, where you're at now. And I feel as though um, whoever this is that's causing a tired moment, they know that you've went through a lot. They know that, you know, you have changed your life for the better. And so, again, they're going to try to come in and, you know, disrupt your energy. They're going to come in and try to do whatever they can to cause burdens and stress, you know, so that your cross will be hard to bear all over again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel as though uh, when you decided to make a change and you started to, you know, grow in, you know, the ways that spirit wanted you to grow, I feel as though, you know, there was some type of ending. And uh, whoever this is that you could have possibly ended something with or, you know, something ended for that person. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. But because of an ending, they're going to try to cop, come in your life and try to disrupt your uh, energy. They're going to try to do whatever they can to cause a tower moment for you. So we have man. So um, this could be, you know, your energy or this is someone that is connected to your energy. Um, but I feel as though, yeah. Um, <clears throat> you or, you know, whoever this is definitely changed and, you know, um, basically is doing what you need to do on your spiritual journey. Um, you've went through a lot, but there is uh, some energy around you or, you know, your person or whatever this energy is that is going to come in and try to cause some type of burdens and stress in your life to cause a tower moment. 
because there was an ending and I feel as though there was an ending with this man. So I feel like whoever this man is for you, Cancer, this is the person that, um, the person, this is the person that is attached to the person that is trying, that is going to try to cause you a tower moment. Um, because whoever this man is, he, he's watching you and he wants a new beginning with you. And whoever this man is, he did, he watched you, you know, go through the trials and tribulations um, to get to, you know, where you're at now. He watched your change and he watched your growth. He watched you go from, you know, being down to being up. But that's a part of a spiritual journey. You're not always going to be up. And honestly, you know, being on your spiritual journey, spiritual people, spiritual beings go through a lot more than, you know, other people in some ways. But yeah, whoever this man is, they do want a, you know, a new beginning with you somehow, some way. Um, and they are watching and they're waiting. I feel like, uh, you know, this, whoever this man is could be the one for you or they feel like that you're the one for them. Yeah, and I, and I feel like, yeah, this uh, could be your energy, Cancer. Or, you know, this, uh, whoever this man is could be, you know, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. They could be at a distance from you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, whoever this is, they could be a businessman. Uh, you know, they... I mean, whoever this man is, they, you know, they are about their business. But they definitely are watching you. And they've watched you, you know, again, go through everything you went through and then, you know, change your life. And I feel as though whoever this is, they, they really love you. some you know some gossiping um or this you know could be you know your divine counterpart we have the birds out here um yeah this could be your divine counterpart the love birds card that's what spirit just said so yeah um this could be your divine counterpart but there could be you know some type of gossiping or some type of this this person could be you know talking about you um or this is, you know, some type of communication um, that is about to come in. Yeah. So there is some type of gossip. And I feel like it's the person that is attached to this man's energy. I feel like it's a third party energy. Um, and there is some type of gossip about you and your person going on. And I feel as though whoever this is, yes, they are very attached to you. Well, yeah, to your energy and whoever this man is energy. Um, but I feel as though this is who this man is uh, ending something with. Because I feel as though you two, whoever this man is, if it's your divine counterpart, you guys are marrying each other. So um, this man could have, you know, went through a lot in their life, too, you know, and they decided to end a situation um, and change their life. And they're, so they're growing spiritually, mentally, physically, um, financially, you know, <clears throat> and now maybe this man is ready for a new beginning with you. And maybe you spoke about it with this man. Um, but there is, you know, something or someone that is attached to this man that is uh, causing this man not to be able to, you know, come towards you <clears throat> at this time. If you see the man is just sitting there waiting. 
looking, watching. <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. I don't know what's going on with my throat. Y'all have to excuse me. Yeah, but when it comes to um, whatever this attachment is, there is going to be a balance created out of this situation. <clears throat> heart yeah yeah because you are the one that this this masculine wants to be with you're the one that you know this masculine he only has um eyes for you he his heart belongs to you mm -hmm. whoever this masculine is they do want to grow with you they know that you know you are their divine counterpart and yes they love you they they could have possibly taken you through a lot um you know they could have possibly even gossiped about you lied about you uh but they are attached to you um they're they're not attached to whoever is attached to them that is for sure and this man you know he's attached he's not attached to you for anything you know um that you can pay for uh, everything that this man is attached to you for is priceless you know, they're attached to you for your heart, your spirituality, you know, your independence, you know, everything that money can't buy. That's why this man is attached to you. And then if we look at the bottom of the deck, y'all, there goes that tower. So let's see. I'm going to get some tarot. These are Tarot of Mystical Moments. Um, these cards are very new. They're very beautiful. I want to make sure that I get them shuffled, you know. Good, good, good. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. So whoever this person is that's attached to this masculine. Um, well, this masculine is, you know, trying to end it with this person. But I feel as though this person um, feels as though because, you know, they've been through a lot with this masculine energy that they have a right to you know hold on to this masculine but there is no love between those two people yeah this masculine could you know want to have a conversation about you know the matters of matters of the heart um, they could want to, you know, com have a conversation about you them holding on, you know, to the love that they have for you. Spirit wise tree here. Ooh. King of cups. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is the masculine energy. And then King of Pentacles came out as well with it. So we're going to keep that as well. So we have King of Pentacles and King of Cups. Um so yeah. Whoever this masculine is, hold on y'all, I'm going to put the camera down just a smidge. There we go. Whoever this masculine is, <clears throat> Yeah, they've changed. <clears throat> they change. The, whoever this masculine is, they're growing rapidly, you know, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Um, yeah, they're just growing because they've decided to, you know, change their toxic ways and, you know, get on their spiritual journey. Um, whoever this uh, masculine is, he, he definitely, um, you know, has a lot of love for you. And I feel as though... Um, this masculine does want to come towards you with, you know, stability, with, you know, love, emotions, um, money. 
but I feel as though um, this masculine uh, could have in the past felt like that you know the world was in his hands you know he had the ball was in his court he had all the power I feel as though this in the past this masculine um, you know felt like he was on top of the world when it comes to you know uh, his pinnacles finances um, yeah in the past this masculine you know had many options but now this masculine only has <clears throat> one ship in his hand and so you know that ship for me represents you and then you know the emotions are pouring out of this masculine so I feel as though this masculine has changed you know into a whole different person and their ships are coming in you know their their pentacles are looking good even though you know they've went through whatever they went through why is cross here spirit death mm -hmm. yeah I can't make it up y'all yep Yep, so this masculine definitely changed their toxic ways or they're, you know, in the process of changing their toxic ways. Um, they are ending a situation because, you know, um, it was just too much to bear. Too much to bear. Um, and yeah, whoever this masculine is, they could possibly be going through a transformation. But they definitely are, you know, changing, you know, uh, their toxic ways in order to be able to you know be on their spiritual journey and you know do whatever spirit needs for them to do yeah mm -hmm. yeah yep because there were a lot of illusions created when it comes to this masculine there were a lot of lies that were told on this masculine. There were a lot of, you know, secrets um, that were being kept from this masculine. And I do feel as though there is, you know, a sneaky little thing, sneaky little fox that, you know, is basically uh, trying to cause, you know, chaos, havoc, and pandemonium for this masculine. Because they know this masculine wants to go on a new beginning whether it be with someone or just by themselves this masculine just wants a new beginning they they're doing the work you know and they want you know what spirit has for them yeah there could have been some type of funeral as well um yeah someone could have had a heart attack or you know could have had some type of cancer Maybe in the lungs or something like that. Uh, but yeah, this masculine, yeah, they're ending, you know, everything that that no longer, that doesn't serve their highest good, That especially this situation. And I feel like whoever the person is that's in this masculine's energy, um, they have a counterpart or two. So they have, you know, a couple people that are helping them to try to cause this tower moment. Why is birds here, spirit? Hey, man. Yeah. So when it comes to, you know, the birds, which is the love birds card, which is, you know, the twin flame card for me. Um, but also, you know, as far as for, you know, communication or just gossip or whatnot, I feel like um, that that's why this person is stuck from coming towards you from coming towards their divine counterpart because you know um whatever this outside energy is doing to keep this masculine from moving forward i feel like uh this masculine ooh, is getting a lot of messages a lot of downloads or this could be you um 
so you or you know this masculine or both of you could be you know seeing a lot of birds um blue jay uh yeah a couple of blue jays um i don't know what these yellow and black birds are um but yeah but i also feel as though um this masculine um because maybe you know you spoke on you know spiritual awakening and spiritual journey and maybe this masculine you know went into hermit mode and uh received some type of downloads that you know it's time to uh do the work it's time to you know let go of things that hold no weight in your life hang man queen of wands yeah Mm -hmm. so I feel as though um, this masculine is very confident but I feel as though um, your confident you know shines as your confidence shines as well and whoever you are you're very protected but this masculine energy um, could have been stuck to you know because whoever is in his energy, you know, could have been using sex to, you know, keep them stuck. You know, they could have, you know, yeah, been using sexuality uh, to get them, to keep them stuck. And I feel as though, um, yeah, this person, whoever this masculine energy is, they basically saw the light, you know, they saw the light, they saw right through whoever this person is that is attached to them. And, you know, basically, they got the the, the download that, you know, it's time to change this situation, it's time to change and, you know, move forward from this attachment. Anchor. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, it's time to 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 you know move forward. But on another note, um, yeah, your person does see you, you know, as confident, as you know, spiritual. Um, they know you have spiritual gifts. They know that you know. Uh. Yeah, they know you have many spiritual gifts. Many, many, many spiritual gifts. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why, you know, they're attached to you is because of your spirituality. That's the main thing that they're attached to, your spirituality and your heart. <clears throat> um, because they know you're a star, but the, but you're the star of their eye. Um, but they feel as though, you know, you can, you can do pretty much anything. Whoever this person is, Cancer, they are head over heels in love with you. They look at you like a little fairy with a wand. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, I feel as though this person, this masculine, has definitely healed from this situation. Um, but there is still an attachment. But I also feel as though this masculine <clears throat> is attached to you because they feel as though you can help them heal. And a part of it is with your spiritual gifts. Spirit wise heart here. The Empress. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they are so in love with you. Um, you've got it all. Uh, so, you know, you might could be pregnant. But they just feel like that you're everything that they want and need. And you're the one that, you know, has this masculine's heart for sure. The emperor can't make it up. Mm-hmm. 
both the uh, both the emperor and the empress came out together and so yeah i do feel like this is your divine counterpart and i feel like that you know both of you all are definitely handling your business and both of you are in love with each other so we have um earth out here capricorn taurus virgo fire leo aries sagittarius Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, your energy, and then air, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. So all the elements are out here. So yeah, you have this emperor's heart, and the emperor has yours. And they, you know, want to heal from whatever this is. And I feel as though you both are healing, but again, there is still, you know, this attachment. And so. This masculine is trying to figure out how to basically clear the air of this energy that is attached to you and them. King of Cups and Hangman. Ace of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. After, you know, this masculine changing or whatever... Um, they're stuck, uh, yeah, from going to toward coming towards you, you know, for a new beginning. Yeah, there there's a wedge between you and your person, and a lot of it has to do with lies and gossip, deceit, betrayal. Um, but there is a wedge, and that's why this masculine is stuck from coming towards you, Cancer. King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Swords, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when it comes to you know, um, whoever this uh, Queen of Wands is, whether it be you or you know, the outside energy, I feel as though, um, that. Yeah, this Queen of Wands is blocking this masculine. Yeah, putting a wedge between you and the masculine. Yep. But I feel as though Spirit has stepped in. Mm -hmm. Spirit has stepped in to basically block this person out from holding on to the situation. Because you and your person need to heal. But there is a lot of um, gossiping and a lot of lying around, you know, this could be around uh, around this masculine's home or just around the family or around the neighborhood. But whoever, is, whoever this is that's gossiping, it is a earth sign. Death and the star. Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, the, yeah, the masculine is definitely trying to end, you know, the situation so you all can heal, so the will can turn in, in you guys' favor. But I feel as though whoever this person is that's, you know, put a wedge between you and your person, they're trying to play some type of game. They're trying to control, you know, the situation. They're trying to basically stop, um, you know you and this masculine from healing pretty much the moon the empress and the emperor ten of cups yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah so when it comes to, you know, you and your person and, you know, the, the secrets and the illusions and things like that, it's uh, because of a family situation. So whoever this is that, you know, is in this masculine's energy um, or is attached to this masculine, is in love with this masculine, 
They could have been, you know, in a family situation ship, Ten of Cups, um, with this person that, you know, basically told lies on the masculine and you, um, you know, did whatever that whatever they could do to stop um, the masculine from, you know, ending it with them and coming towards you. Whoever this person is, uh, they have, yeah. Whoever this person is, they're very dark. Let's just say that. They could wear a lot of weave, like a lot, lot, lot of weave. Very, very long. Um, yeah, they could have a lot of kids that they don't take care of. Um, just putting that out there. Uh, but I feel as though, um, you know, when this masculine was with whoever this person is, I feel as like they opportunities were passing this masculine by because they were in this relationship with this person that they didn't love. The Empress and the Emperor. Justice. Yeah. And whoever the, the whoever this uh energy is that's attached to you know your masculine and also you um i feel as though they just lied and told you know just did uh you know deceitful things because they know they know that uh this masculine truly loves you and you know truly has emotions for you and you know things of that nature but when it comes to the emperor and the empress um, you know, justice is being served. So, uh, whoever this outside energy is could be getting karma. But I feel as though this is, uh, when it comes to this justice, I feel like it's, you know, from spirit. So, um, this could be, you know, <coughs> spiritual karma that this outside energy is, you know, going to receive from trying to keep you and, you know, your person apart for trying to, you know, put a wedge between you and your person. Ace of Wands, Two of Swords. The Chariot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, when it comes to the new beginning between you and your person, Cancer, um, Spirit had to come in and basically block out the energy that is attached to your person that is attached to you because Spirit has you and your person on a pedestal. So I feel as though um, this is a, you know, divine situation. This is a situation to where, you know, Spirit wants you all to be together. Uh, but because Spirit intervened, I feel as though you and your person are going to be able to move forward. Yeah, move forward from the attachment, move forward and create some type of balance. Will of Fortune, Ten of Cups, Justice. Four of Wands. Yep, can't make it up. You're going to be able to move forward and you could possibly, you know, be getting married or, you know, this is just you and your person creating, you know, stability for one another or for each other. Four of Wands. Yeah, the magician. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because you are the magician, you know. You are the magician. And I feel as though, yes, this was manifested. This was manifested. And whoever this person is, they could have possibly been doing black magic and spells. Uh, yeah, to try to keep your person stuck in, you know, a situation with them. Yeah. 
they were also trying to do possibly doing black magic and spells you know to create some type of wealth um but the scales are being balanced on that too because i feel as though yeah this is where the tower moment comes in because i feel as though once you and your person come together uh this person is going to try to disrupt you guys' energy again the chariot Ace of Swords in the reverse. Hmm? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I feel as though, you know, Spirit is allowing you and your person to move forward because whoever this person is that is attached to your person that is attached to you didn't tell the truth about a situation. And so... Because this person, thank you, Spirit. Because this person didn't tell the truth about, you know, some type of situation, I feel as though Spirit said, uh uh, it's time to end it because this person is basically toxic. And this person is going to keep, you know, taking your masculine and possibly you round and round in circles. And so Spirit said, no, it's time to end it. And so, with that being said, um, you know, you and your person could, you know, possibly move forward to try to, you know, get married or just, you know, stabilize, you know, your living situation. You guys could buy a new home. You know, this could be, you know, somewhere, you know, where no one really is around, maybe in the country or something like that. Uh, but yeah, this person is going to continue to try to test spirit because they're not testing you. Four of Wands and the Magician. The devil. Yep. Yep. The devil. Yeah. And strength. So yes. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. Um, yeah. Once you and your person come together cancer you guys are you know going to try to create some type of stability for you know one another um this was you you guys did manifest this but there is some black magic and spells from this toxic person this toxic person you know is definitely not going away but um with the strength card out here yeah whoever this person is are trying to weave a web for y'all to get stuck in but y'all are too strong for that y'all are too strong for that and the fact that the matter is, um, whoever this person is, they think that, you know, their toxic ways will overtake, you know, your strength. But I feel as though you and your person are strong apart. So just imagine bringing two um, lions together. Yeah, so I mean, there is no whoever this person is they're not going to win period mm -hmm. the world the fool yeah mm-hmm so like I said, once, you know, your person, once, you know, the the cycle is ended and your person, you know, takes a leap of faith to come towards you, I mean, this person is still going to be trying to, you know, cause chaos, havoc, pandemonium, but you guys get to move forward and, you know, create stability and things of that nature. The black magic and spells, yes, they're going to come. This person is toxic. They're not ever going to end their toxic ways. And the fact of the matter is the only thing that can overcome, you know, this person within this toxic energy is the strength that you and your person need to you know come together and basically um use your strength to defeat you know this toxic energy and i don't mean physically because we don't have to physically touch nobody strength
Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, because whoever this person is, they could try to come and offer, you know, your person something, possibly some money. Because, you know, in the past, your person was all about the dollars, all about the pence cow. Yeah, the high priestess. Uh huh. And so, <coughs> with this person trying to, you know, weave a web to uh, get your person stuck and possibly you, um... Yeah, your person needs to remain strong because whoever this is, they are going to try to come and offer your person something tangible to basically make them change their mind. With the high priestess out here, yeah, you know who you know this who this person is. You know this person is trying to, you know, steal, you know, what spirit has for you. The high priestess, Knight of Pentacles. The sun. Yeah. Yeah, you know. You know what they're trying to do. And the fact of the matter is, Spirit says you're gonna be y'all gonna be happy anyway, regardless of what this person is trying to do. The sun. The hermit in reverse. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it's revealed. that They don't want it to be revealed, but you, you already knew. Um, but, yeah, you're going to be happy. And I feel as though, you know, your person doesn't really want, to, want it to be revealed, you know, that you guys are moving forward because of this person that's in the devil energy. The Hermit in reverse. Yeah, King of Wands. Mm -hmm. You know. It was revealed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but your person, they definitely are confident. King of Wands. Three of Pentacles. So, yeah. They are confident, you know, and they're ready to, you know, they're ready to put in the work, pretty much. To end the situation, yeah. Because they got some type of spiritual download. They they had to talk with spirit. They had to talk with a spirit guide, uh, ancestor, something. Uh, yeah. Alright. <clears throat> yep. The Hierophant. Ten of Swords, yeah. Yep, they had a talk with spirit to end it, and they're working towards, you know, uh, basically you, Queen of Cups, the love of their life. Yeah, Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Three of Wands underneath Six of Wands, so yeah, they made you wait long enough, Cancer. All right. So we're going to get this outcome so we can end the message, Cancers. And again, this is, you know, January 2023 message. Yeah. 
yeah, when it comes to you and your person, there was some type of truth that was spoken um, after the truth wasn't told by, you know, the outside person. The outside person purposely lied on you and your person, you know, to basically keep you guys apart. What's the outcome of this situation? Yeah, walking away and moving forward. So yes, your masculine is definitely walking away and moving forward. Or this is you walking away and moving forward. Yeah, sweaty pits. Someone is definitely, definitely nervous. They're guilty of something. They have anxiety. Yeah, because, yeah, they gossiped, they lied, they were deceitful, and they betrayed um, the mask, your person and you. Yeah, and they got kicked to the curb. They're going to try to disrupt your energy. Of course. Yeah, because they're focused on the wrong things, y'all. Yeah, can't make it up. Third party. What else, spirit, do we need to know? Yeah, there's some childhood wounds that needs to be healed, whether this be, you know, the person that is attached, you know, to you and your person, or this is you and your person that still needs to heal some childhood wounds. Um, yep, there is some type of communication coming in. Phone, text, email, DM. Yeah, and your your masculine could, you know, be wanting to apologize about, you know, them being childish and immature and petty. Yeah, they could want to speak some truth. But Spirit says, you know, trust your intuition. Or this could be someone else. I don't know. Um, it could be the third party. But, yeah, you just need to trust your intuition with the situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we have jail, prison, mental hospital, and marriage stability. So, uh, yeah, someone could be, you know, in jail, prison, or mental hospital. Or this third party was trying to, you know, was gossiping and lying and doing all that, trying to get someone locked up. But these two people could have been married. Yeah, but there is a new beginning. Um, you and your person are going to get to start all over, and everything that you know the third party did backfire. Tables turned. So, Cancer, that's what I have for you all for January 2023. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon.